Alrighty, welcome to Get Off Zero. Um, haven't done one of these in a little while. I've been super busy with School of Bitcoin and multiple jobs and teaching and all sorts of stuff, but super glad to be back. And Merrick, we've been trying to do this podcast for ages. So thank you so much for making time. Um, if you want to jump on to uh, Get Off Zero pod, I'll update the website with that. I've got my uh, Nost is probably the best point of contact now, although I'm still on Twitter slash X or whatever we're supposed to call it now. Uh, but yeah, trying to migrate away from that as much as possible. So I've got my Nostar, uh, dot me up on the website. And um, actually with that, we're, we're launching a um, a project at, we're actually going to Nostar Japan. So myself and uh, Tiggs are going over there. And um, we're actually doing like NFC badges that we're giving out to everyone there uh, with their their Nostra, Nostra, um, dot me addresses. So super excited for that. And I'll keep everyone posted and we'll probably talk about it more on the school of Bitcoin. But anyway, yeah, so jump on to Get Off Zero Pod for updates on this. I'm going to try and do um, a lot more with uh, this project uh, moving forward. Anyway, Merrick, thank you so much again. Um, did you... I want to give a quick intro to yourself and then we'll get into um, your learning journey. Yeah, for sure. Uh, quick intro. I guess I can start with, a, like, is it my personal intro, more of the Bitcoin side of things? Just uh, personal Your personal intro and then we'll yeah. get into the Bitcoin stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So originally from India, I've been in Australia for the last five years. Uh, back in India, I worked as a banker for about four years. Yeah. F- yeah. Over four years. And then moved here. Uh, other than other than the professional side, oh, I also worked at or continue to work at a Bitcoin exchange here in Australia. And uh, other than the professional side of things, uh, I trained. I've been training jujitsu for the last two years. Oh wow! And yeah, and I and I ha- and I have my own podcast as well, which I've been doing for the last two years. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Um, the dabbling path, yeah. The dabbling path. Yes. Yes. Very yes. Cool. Where, where did the name come from? Uh, so yeah, I was trying to come up with a name and initially it had my first name and I, I thought like, cause I didn't want to be structured into one sort of theme. Right. So I was like, okay, so I'm going to be bouncing around different things that interest me yeah. and, and interest change over time. Right. So I was like, oh, just keep it general. So I was thinking journey, I was thinking like something on those lines and then given my surname, so dabbling has the first three characters of my surname. So that's yeah. how I yeah chose dabbling. I um, like it. I like it. It's cool. And, and, yeah, you're not sort of locked into anything. You kind of go as you do in like different directions with stuff. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool to see. Um, where about, whereabouts in India? Ba- Bangalore, was it? No, no, no. I'm in, in Bombay. Oh, Bombay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right, right, right. You, so you were looking at doing a, a, a Bitcoin conference in, in India at one point? No, I wasn't looking at, but like there's a crew that's doing a Bitcoin conference and I was like, uh, sort of assisting them or like, yeah, just helping them out kind of a thing. Okay. But lately yeah, cool. I've not been in touch with them, but I should yeah uh, get in touch. And I, I was promoting their, uh, the last year I was promoting them, their conference on my podcast this year, I, I should get back into it because the conference is happening in the first week, I believe, or second week of October. Yeah, a two-day conference. Yeah, and that that's in Bangalore. Yeah, that's in Bangalore this year. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I came back from um Bitcoin Alive when you told me, and because my partner's parents from, are from India. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. her dad keeps harassing me. When are we going over to that Bitcoin conference in oh, India? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we should should make it happen. Yeah, um, the the thing is like the flights are super expensive, right? Anywhere to go from Australia, like super expensive. We can nuts. go to the Indonesia conference. Yeah, that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. It's nuts, isn't it? Even like yeah. I I was meaning to get over to El Salvador oh, and just yeah. getting through the States and everything. It's yeah, crazy expensive yep. and difficult, like with the whole COVID thing over the last couple of years. But like, yeah, it's it's kind of annoying, isn't it? Like there's all these cool things happening. Japan's actually not too bad. So for Japan's the Nostra conference. Too- Yes, Nostra Asia, yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. are going, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. so it should yeah. be cool. So yeah, that, that's yeah. like not exorbitant, and it was like, yeah, it's close enough that you can do it, and then come back and not feel exhausted, like from, yeah. from the so, so yeah, so it's a from from memory, it's a two day conference, four days, four days, four days. Yeah, right. yeah. If, What day are you like? When are you um, getting there? Uh, so I know it's, it's on the first second. 
Yeah, yeah. first, second, third, fourth. So it's, it ends on the fourth. Fourth's my birthday. So that's why we're like, oh, yeah. I'll go go for my birthday. Yeah, nice, so, nice, nice. Yeah, so that should be cool. I'm uh, excited for that. Anyways. Let's get into your learning journey. <laughs> okay, okay. No, before, like, yeah. sorry, if you do, if you don't mind, like, sure, sure, sure. Uh, uh, when are you getting there in Australia for Australia? Uh, I, I think the thirty first. I think the thirty first. Okay, so, yeah, because I was speaking to McShane, Alex Shane, the guy who's organizing it. Yeah, and he's like, get there on the thirty first because oh, okay. that that town that where the conference is happening itself, they are really big on Halloween. Oh, oh and it's, okay. yeah yeah right. and he's like get there on the 31st so it's like like a pre-party to the conference like a halloween oh, thing cool yeah. okay yeah. all right so we'll be there for halloween That's yeah it. going to bring a costume <laughs> yeah halloween in japan yeah it might be i'll bring, a, there. I'll bring yeah. a super mario hat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um all righty cool man oh thanks thanks for the tip that's awesome um all righty so yeah, jumping into your learning journey. So, um, the so I like to sort of ask people mm-hmm. if when they question money, like was it right. sort of before Bitcoin or after BTC, and what um, what were the circumstances around that? Yeah, for sure. Because uh, I think I'd st- I'll give a little backstory of how I first came across Bitcoin, which was not exactly coming across Bitcoin, but I heard about Bitcoin. Back in 2010, 20, yeah, around that that time, I just heard about this internet money thing where you could have your laptop running and you could make extra money, right? It's like, I didn't know what Bitcoin was, but I just know that, oh, I could have my laptop running, install these few softwares, link them up together and earn some extra money. So that, that was my first sort of touch point. And uh, basically, and what I was just describing was Bitcoin mining on a laptop. Uh, Whoa, but I was so, all... so you were mining on a on a laptop in 2010? In 2010. Wow, that's cool, uh, no, man. But yeah, 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 yeah. So, but what ha- But so this was like, yeah. And they said like, oh, this is your string of characters. Uh, that's your, it's a wallet hex. Write it down safely. So I wrote it down on a sticky note. <laughs> kept it in a drawer somewhere. <laughs> so uh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, and then. And I was also playing uh, online first player shooter games. I, people are familiar with Counter Strike, so so I had this. CS, awesome. Yes, yeah. Nice. So so I had this mining mining going on in the background. I was trying to play CS, and like a week into it, that's like a week or maybe a little more like into it, I realized like my Counter Strike is getting too laggy. <laughs> so I deleted. Oh, I deleted everything. Like I deleted. <laughs> oh man that's, yeah that's yeah. super annoying <laughs> and the sticky note god knows where the sticky note is right like so that was like my first sort of touch point yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and, and but, then but was this had you sorry to just backtrack had you questioned what money is like no before that no, point no no okay right, no, right. no 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 this okay. is just like yeah and then yeah then it, it was around 2017 that i had like a spec cash as like oh you can start saving and then it was I was probably looking at stocks a little before that at through my management degree and then I was like oh maybe look at this new crypto thing what it's about and because it was make yeah there's a lot of fuss around crypto back then. Uh, I mean even to today but so I was like oh let's see and then I came across uh bitcoin and of course it's like you need to diversify so right like right so so then you saw then ethereum and those were the two coins in, around that period that I was sort of investing in. Yeah. And yeah, and then I th- then then it was the ICOs. Uh, I d- I didn't yeah I probably like you uh, didn't invest anything major into it, but it's like I'll oh, just see what fifty dollars is going to do. Like, is it going to go up? Is it go down? Like, just sort of uh, test the waters. Yeah. And yeah, when everything died down, it's like, oh, and and that's when I actually started questioning what value is, right? Like, and then and that led me down the path of questioning, like, w- w- what people value and like, and then money. And then the question of money arises yeah. through yeah. that journey. And that's when I really started like uh, going down the rabbit hole of what money is. Right. And yeah, and as you know, like when you question what money is, it's like value goes hand in hand with that. And uh and and then you see like oh we're currently living in this world where 
it's mass hypnosis right people value this paper currency mm. uh, which technically has no uh, use case in the real world it's just a because everyone I, i say mass hypnosis because everyone gives it a value that's why it has a value otherwise it has no real value like oh, and no, no real use no case intrinsic in the world. value yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes 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 yeah so that's when i yeah sort of yeah crop money and then going down that path then i i think if you question money the only uh, sort of or for anyone who questions money the only sort of right place you would end up is something like bitcoin something that has the uh, properties the uh, characteristics of bitcoin yeah yeah 100% that's really interesting so then usually my my follow up to that is like when did you hear about bitcoin but obviously you heard about it first yes. and then much later a question that's really interesting mm. um but going back to the 2010 thing where did you read about that or see that or or um yeah that's it's really fascinating I, I think it was some forum i can't remember yeah it was like a blog post or some forums back then yeah and i i, I had a friend who was uh, i mean he still is like he's really into computers and games but he really he didn't grok bitcoin to date and i think he he's the one that he he shared it with us like like a group of us and that's when i thought oh, okay maybe i'll put my laptop to use That's yeah. awesome. That's so yeah. interesting. I wonder what the um what the value of that was like what you know what was written on yeah. the piece of paper thrown away but yeah. Yeah, yeah gosh that's um that's crazy. So so in terms of like um your you kind of alluded to it a little bit like your shitcoin story so yeah. like how you um sort of got into that got into say F and ICOs and mm-hmm. nonsense in 2017 at what point um did you sort of realize hang on this is something very different to yeah. to BTC uh yeah so so yeah i first got into crypto around that 2017 period and then through my uh, so like and around 2018 is when i came to australia and it would it was fairly easy to invest or purchase in australia as compared to back in india uh and and through that through my studies here i was uh, i had a module or i had a subject that was uh, i was studying supply chain management like through my like one of the subjects was supply chain management and a big theme there was blockchain of how uh-huh. blockchains are going to use be used in supply chain like distribution of various goods and uh, goods and services mm-hmm. and and that really like i was really fascinated me and then i started going down that path of like oh how like different use cases for blo- like blockchain use cases and and then i was going about with my like uh, just trying to get work but but that that always uh, was at the back of my mind i was like okay i'm going to sh- like this cri- crypto crypto thing seems fascinating and i was like oh i i need to work in this field so i started reaching out to different sort of uh, companies based here in melbourne or even broader in australia as like oh like I, this really interests me i want to find work in this domain and i was lucky to get work with a crypto research company back then and yeah and 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 luckily even within that research company even though they were researching everything under the sun in and i think yeah i think it was the start of nfts back then but yeah. i was yeah i was closely paired with uh, check matey the guy from glassnode and he used to do only the bitcoin reports so my mm. my one of my jobs was sort of proofreading his reports right so, yeah, okay. yeah yeah well yeah. that's cool yeah so so that kind of led you to looking, that, like shifting look, yeah yes yes yeah. yes Yeah, because even back then I understood like Bitcoin is different in a way compared to the rest, but I didn't really know why. So it yeah. was like, oh, I'll gamble in these other shit coins <laughs> and I'll convert it into Bitcoin, right? Like, yeah, and, yeah. And, and even today, I mean, uh, even like to date, I meet like Bitcoiners at the regular Melbourne meetup, and like I come across many of them that say, oh. I gamble with shit coins to have more bitcoin <laughs> but then yeah that's not the case for me and like I figured that out a while back like you're better off just DCAing in bitcoin you don't need to yeah try gambling unless yeah I mean you could d- depending on your risk profile and the um, yeah but you're better off just DCAing into bitcoin 
Casino, yeah. Yeah, casino, yeah. <laughs> casino like, might as well go to ground, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was actually, you, you, you just um, alluded to my next question. So DC Yang. Um, mm. So you're a big advocate for that. And obviously, <laughs> yeah, work, working with Amber. But like, what um, what what's your what, how how do you sort of e- express that to people? Like, what they should do with DCA, uh, specifically with Bitcoin, and how um to get started with that? Like, because because for me, I'm of two minds at this point, right? Because I've had people um DCA and still sell. And mm. still just be like, oh, it's gone up. I'm selling it all. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. So I'm kind of like my my new method of sort of onboarding people is to tell them not to buy. So what oh. I what I start saying now, and I, I, this is just through um, doing it for years, right? Yes, and, right, 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 right. And, and the feedback being like, oh man, they've just like didn't take it on board any of the the learnings mm. that they should have so I'm saying no don't buy it. you know obviously do the proof of work but earn mm. it so earn it or mine it and you know if you can't right. do one of those two things first then don't dca so it's like do one of those things first then dca after that mm. and i think that kind of forces them onto a, a learning journey which you've already yes. done and yes, we've all yes, yes. already done but I think just DCA or just buying isn't enough. But anyway, like what what's your your method around that and and for onboarding people? No, that's really interesting because when you tell someone to DCA, it's like they look at it from an investment perspective, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and there's like so as you said rightly, as 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 number goes up, they want to like cash out because it's an investment. Yeah, and uh, and just cash the other out. day I was speaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And just the other day I was speaking to someone, and they're like writing an yeah. article about like investing Bitcoin as a savings tool and not an investment tool. And just to like the summer, like he was explaining to me of this whole article, and but you can summarize it in like one meme, right? It's like Bitcoin. Uh, I buy. I know you buy Bitcoin to have more fiat. I buy Bitcoin to have less fiat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Perfect. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, back to your question as to like, how do I go about? Yeah. I, I mean, initially I was like a little more forceful on people. Oh, you need to buy Bitcoin. You need to like, yeah, try to tell them all these aspects of money and especially go for the money angle or, or based on people's understanding, like, but mainly people try to like the money angle sorts of gets them. And, uh, but I, I, yeah, lately I've been taking a really light hand at it and like, oh, just saying, being not too, being, uh, yeah, not being too pushy about it. Mm. And, uh, and if they sort of understand and, and a, a suggestion is like, I mean, uh, if you're going to be sp- like spending, say, $20 on a weekend for a beer or whatever, for a drink, maybe save that, put it into Bitcoin each week and then see how that goes for, for you for a month, right? Like use, like... Uh, start with start with the amount that you're comfortable losing and see how that goes over time and also and another main uh, uh, aspect is because because bitcoin price is so volatile over the short term is like don't look at this as an investment for the next look at it as an investment for the next four years or five years yeah mm-hmm. so just keep it there and like see what happens like it's something that yeah yeah. So that's my approach lately. Yeah, I think that's smart, and I think there's there's something to it, right? Because it's like um, it's real, real energy transfer, real wealth transfer when you mm. when you give it to someone. So like, just just yesterday, actually, on my uh, I think it's through Nosta or anyway, I got twenty one sets from somebody in uh-huh, Brazil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who like listened to something I was doing, and it was like the note was, you know, um, great work, keep it up. Or I'm like. That is so much more meaningful to me than a fiat paycheck. Like 21 mm. sets is nothing, but I, it's like I actually earned that. You know what I mean? Yes, so yes, I think yes, when, yes. when people do that and they get that sort of magic of, of, of it's really the lightning network, like yeah. transfer, it's like, wow, that's, that's real energy transfer from somebody who actually mm. appreciates something rather than I'm just going to DCA and sort of invest or even just, you know, buy chunks of BTC to sell later on. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's really um, meaningful. Um, so anyway, with that, 
um, you're obviously not using custodial services, <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, what's your like go-to hardware wallet? Go to hardware wallet. So yeah, I, I like the cold card. Uh, given it has multiple, mm. like it has so much of functionality, uh, and yeah, and also the community has sort of, uh, in a way, it's sort of dive. There's cold card. There's the cold card crew, and then there's also like a stateless, right? Like the stateless devices. I haven't tested one. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, my go-to for now is uh, cold card, but I probably want to get my hands on a stateless device just to play around. And yeah, I'd like to as well. My yeah. mine's cold card too, but yeah. I think like and it's cool for like multi-sig. It's cool for so many things, but like yeah, the, um, the um, for, I'm I'm of two minds of like recommending it though to people because mm. it is pretty complex and yes. even like doing a, a transfer out of yeah. cold card it's just like whoa this is like next level security i think it's scary for a lot of mm. people um what's what's your sort of go-to for like recommendation for a hardware wallet for not so technically savvy people uh, i think depending on their stack on depending on how like yeah uh i would still suggest the cold card as like might as well put in the work initially to understand this like how to operate this given you're gonna like in, instead of doing a transfer later on start e easy now and then go on the harder stuff do the harder stuff later if you're really serious about it do the learning initially itself yeah. get a cold card yeah and uh, because a, a few things you are like you learn you learn about operating a node and then how that that goes about like and then then another thing that you could do with the cold card which is highly recommended is adding a Passphrase. Is it the passphrase or seed phrase? Passphrase, yes. Yep. You can add the additional 13th or 24th word to it. That gives you an additional layer of security. And yeah, it, and and most and I'm I'm happy to help people as to like in the initial like steps of it and yeah, just get them on. That so that's one. And also and given with the cold card is that compared to other devices or other hardware devices, there's no client. So cold card doesn't build a software on your computer. You got to use yeah. another client. So that's a, I feel another, I think other client, like given your, you can only use say a ledger with the ledger client. Yeah. Using cold card with a different client as an, uh, yeah, it just, and you can use it with multiple different clients of your choice. Right. So that's another thing that's uh, good from a risk perspective true true yeah, and it's all yeah. open source right and it's all open source yes yeah yes. that's that's the big thing like the whole ledger thing I've yeah like, i've read to think how many people have onboarded to, to ledger yeah. and then like oh no they've got a database of keys yeah. maybe like we're speculating but wow yeah it's crazy so i've kind of stopped that i'm still okay with trezor even though they do yep. shit coinery but i think like it's open and Mm. relatively easy to use but like to your point it's it's their own um software so yeah, yeah. It's, it's something to be wary of but what's what's your go-to software for the for the cold card uh yeah sparrow sparrow wallet sparrow's cool yeah, yeah, yeah. sparrow's cool i just wanted to add uh have you come across so i mean as we was saying that the cold card has so many options and you can use it in the multi-sig. But something that I feel like that's not gotten enough recognition is the seed XR functionality. Yeah, right. Uh, on the cold card, yeah. Do you know? I, I have no. Yeah, and even sure. for the people that, that are listening, is the seed XR is, so you have a set of 24 words. That's your wallet A, let's call it. Then you have another set of 24 words. Let's call that wallet B. And you can take both these 24 words and it the school card has a seed XOR functionality and you merge them together oh, and, you wow. get, and you get a wallet C. So, right. So now say, say for instance, uh, you, you leave, uh, you leave your 24 words that you've put down in steel or your notebook or whatever in, in location A and you leave another set of 24 words in location B. And there's a bad actor that finds one or even both w might not have this, uh, like they might not know that you have to merge them to get, a, get it to, to actually get the 
real wallet. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so so your wallet A can still stay a wallet. Your wallet B can still stay a wallet, and you put them together, and you have wallet C. Nice. Yeah. So it's a form of, I guess it's like a form of like multi sig with yeah. twenty four words each. That's really cool. That's really yeah. cool. Wow, yeah. I got I got to look into that. Amazing. We did um did a twelve word seed freeze hunt in Minecraft at school yesterday. <laughs> it was pretty oh, nice. cool. Yeah, 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 it was awesome. So we had all the kids looking around. So I built this like massive um like city and hid them all around. And I, I thought I did them like fairly easy, like easy places to okay. climb. Is one of the words no one could find. <laughs> so had all the kids like freaking out, like, oh, we're all like competing to find like the last word. So it's still like up yeah. for grabs. And I was like, they were like, can we, can you give me a hint? I'm like, I forgot, guys. Like, I don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, like, the, the, the words are only in this Minecraft world. So someone has to try and find it to get it. So, like, it's, like, so it's still lost. I mean, yeah. lost per se. Like, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. there. It's, it's still there. there. <laughs> but, but they still have to find that one. Word, one yeah. word uh, to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> how old are the kids? Uh, uh, for the... the year fours. Year fours. Year fours. Year okay, fours. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, really, yeah we nice. had a good discussion as well, like, just around... Um, uh, like what Bitcoin is versus like the legacy system mm. and what resonates, I think is it's kind of like um, third world countries, right? So it's like mm. we had a discussion around how most people in the world are not allowed to have a bank account, right? So it's like, yeah. your mom and dad are fine. We're fine. We're lucky here. We're yes. kind of allowed to have a bank account. That's, but most people in the world are not allowed because of a few greedy people mm. that basically want to control everything and keep all the money for themselves. Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. this network, you can be anywhere in the world and mm. just leapfrog the legacy system sort of thing, and it's permissionless. And I think kids kind of resonate with that because they nice. necess- they don't necessarily have a bank account yet. And that mm. aha moment of like, you know, we set up like LNBits, like legend.lnbits accounts and sent like, you know, 21 sats each or whatever. But that aha moment of like, I've got a bank account now, so I could like, you know, open a stall or something at the market. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. pretty cool. It's pretty That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, um, there's still, I think it's like $4 worth of BTC up for grabs in a Minecraft world. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So switching gears. So you, you are obviously pretty, um, pretty adept to using different hardware wallets. What mm. and and you were mining back in in 2010, but your your current hash rate. So, are you contributing to the the hash rate at the moment at no. all? No, no, interesting. no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and sort of, have you in it since 2010? No, no, I haven't. Yeah, got back. In, like, yeah, I haven't looked at mining at all. Uh, yeah, just because I think. I, yeah, mining has gotten so far from like from mining from your computer to like having these super high tech devices today, which are, I guess, in a way, it's not accessible to everyone, right? Given the price points of st- such devices, and uh, that's that's one. The other thing is the cost that goes into maintaining it, just just your regular electricity cost. Unless you are able to use the excess heat for something else, and like that's just a viewpoint. Like I mean, people are if you have solar panels or you have some like free energy sort of thing, you could have like these running uh, in the background. But yeah, I just not gotten back into it because of those there, points. There yeah. is the there is the um the lottery that you can play, right? So like mm. um basically low power device, leave it running. So I think with the oh, what's the wallet? The Jade, it's the Jade okay. wallet. You can actually set that for a mining, um, like a mining tool and basically get a few of them. So in there they use like next to no power. You can even run them off solar if you wanted to. Like build, I've seen people actually I, just build solar rigs for that. But basically the idea is you're competing for the for the full block, right? With your, your uh, device. Sort of. So it, one, it, one guy actually it, did get it. Is it the Jade or is it the Nerd Miners or is it the combination of the two? I Have you come it's... across the Nerd Miners? No. No? Okay. So these Nerd Miners are these small devices again, which you could D by I and make it yourself. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and, and you can you can stack them. Like I saw another guy that like he stacked them, like stack four or five of them and, and you can mine as well with those. And nice. I'm thinking of getting one, two of those actually because they also... They sort of work like a block clock because then you have all this 
yeah yeah it's yeah. cool little device and yeah it's fun well that that's the other aspect right like learning about just how mining works is is quite mm. fun and i think yeah this, this i'm just looking at it now this looks like similar sort of thing to the jade so it's just low power device yes leave it running and i think the more people that do that the better because you're still contributing to the hash right yes it's just making it more decentralized so 100 percent and you, you yeah. might win like a whole block <laughs> which would be could, nuts yeah yeah which would be nuts yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what, i saw one guy he had like a pie set up like for that with um this was like probably a year or two ago maybe mm-hmm. pie set up solar set up just as like a fun project right and he won like a whole block so he got like the wow. six btc or whatever it was. yes just i remember like... coming across that yeah 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 <laughs> yeah probably like a year ago yeah, yeah yeah so crazy but like why not i think and i think the more people are doing that like the better we are so yeah yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get one of these these are cool the nerd miners yeah i like yeah. it very, yeah. very cool. good for learning too good for learning good. yes yeah 100 yes. percent. Yeah. um all right so then Moving forward on, so from sort of hash rate into the Lightning Network. So your, what was your exposure to the Lightning Network, and um, yeah, like what's what's your experience been? Yeah, I can't remember my first touch point with the Lightning Network. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's an like, but coming across just a functionality of it, given that the, you you don't have to wait for a confirmation, right? Like, and the uh, the ability to use it. Uh, I, I, for the last year or so, I've started frequenting farmers markets and just going over, nice. around there and like asking them, like, do you want to take Bitcoin as payment, like onboarding? And we've done uh, like there's another guy based uh, based here in Melbourne, and we yeah we've onboarded quite a few people onto accepting Bitcoin. Uh, initial yeah initially is like just download wallet Satoshi, you have some Bitcoin. Next time you're there you can take a payment and and they are pretty open to it given that it's it's not their major it's like not the whole customer base that is paying Mm -hmm. in bitcoin right like so they see it as a investment again as to like oh these one two weirdos are coming and paying me in bitcoin (laughs) and uh, (laughs) and and it's like oh it's fine like we'll look at it as an investment and yeah that's been yeah that's been pretty good so that's a great yeah as i said like given its instant settlement and and people can see that oh in, and the, they have it within like few seconds yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. like it's it's magic isn't it just yeah. green like the ux is fantastic the green UX. green bang. and then you can explain i always like to explain like when you give it to actually i did it this morning for my coffee um nice. like you go all right i tapped my phone and that looks like it's instant but it's not and it costs me and it costs you and then yes. it settles a month later what we just did here for zero fee yeah. is instant settlement on the network. It's, and it's like, what? Like, it's, yeah. yeah, it's it's next level. So, yeah, my my, my go-to is still Water, Water Satoshi. Like, I, I know mm. there's some awesome wallets out there, like Moon Wallet and Phoenix. And Phoenix, yeah. um, the submarine swaps on Moon are really cool. But, like, for UX, like, the Water Satoshi guys, even though it's custodial, like, they've mm. knocked it out of the park. It's incredible. Like, they've yep, they yeah. really done a good job. Pretty it, straightforward, yeah, yeah. Even videos you see like overseas, like in Africa and stuff, it's like all oh, Walter yeah. Satoshi. It's like, oh, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah Aussie yeah. software killing it. Aussie software <laughs> killing it. Yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah. Uh, another thing that we built sort of at Bitcoin Alive was uh, I don't know if you attended that the <laughs> Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob had a, uh, a presentation from Bolt Card and we, and we built these. Uh, NFC cards and which which you, you could top up with uh, Lightning, yeah, and you can yeah, and you can use one of those cards to make a payment and then yeah, I use that with one I've of the one, one of the farmers. Yeah. I got yeah. the one with the the laser eyes. So when you tap, oh, you got the laser eyes card. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, cool. yeah. nice, so yes, cool. nice, 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 nice. Yeah. It's so so nice to use. It. Actually, for uh, you should come come next time. So um at the Fox Hotel, I don't know if you you've yes, been to, I will, I will, yeah. I, I can't go to this Friday's one, but. Is, Next one Friday? Friday, yeah. No, this Friday coming. Oh, to, like tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. I was like, oh, okay. Well, wow. I saw okay. the calendar. Like, okay, so okay, I can't. Okay. I can't make that one. But the next one come. Um, we've got yeah. a like uh pause system. So the pause system runs while it's Toshi, but you can actually tap the oh, cards on yes. the top, and it, yes, it's yes, awesome. Yes. It's it's like it's so fun nice. to do. 
Yeah. Who, who got one of those boss systems? Uh, uh, so actually Ian from Peninsula Bitcoin. So he's got that. We've just been lending it to different people to to use it sort of thing. Cause it, and it, yeah. realistically, it's just a phone like encased with like yeah, a, yeah. a, a pause system, but it looks mm. cool. And I think it resonates because it's like the it, shop owners go, oh, I've used that before. It looks Yeah, familiar. familiarity with like an existing thing that yeah. they have. Yes, yes, it's yes. Cool. And, and it's just fun. <laughs> and and that's, a, that's a big thing, right? Like if we want to onboard more people to Bitcoin, like we just have to make, make things familiar to what they're already used to, like even with a bank account and then a mobile, so like a Bitcoin wallet should be like sort of similar to what a bank account feels like and like the exactly. functionality from it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's, that's what it sort of does, but yeah. So I no, definitely bring, bring your bolt card down for that one. And we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Did you get the laser eyes as well? No, no. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't get the laser eyes. I, I spoke to them on my podcast that, uh, that whole team, like there's four of them behind it nice. and I got them to design like one for, the Bitcoin bush bash, like with the oh, awesome. car, yeah, and the laser eyes sticking out, but I didn't get one. I should probably reach out to them and get them yeah. to ship some down. Yeah, I told 100%. them to ship some down, and like I'll sell it, sell it for them. But yeah, I should follow up. Yeah, are you are you going to the next bush bash? Yes, 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 uh, yes. Cool. Are you, I, are you are you planning on coming? Well, it, it it conflicts with Bitcoin Alive. Am I am I right or is no? It... Oh, so that one's in Beechworth. That, okay. that 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 the, the one in victoria so it's i think it's the following weekend or the weekend before bitcoin alive oh okay okay yeah, yeah. Right. but they're not gonna yeah they'll see that they don't yeah sort of so that there's no clash yeah but and i think easter is around the same time so they gotta yeah, be mindful of easter bitcoin alive and then the bush bash so yeah yeah so okay. either yeah but there's one happening in new south wales uh this uh, end of november so I'm going to that one. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I might be in New Zealand, but uh-huh. um, I'll definitely go, go to the Victorian one if it doesn't conflict with um, Bitcoin Alive. Like I'm, I'm up for that. So, yeah, yeah. Haven't, haven't been on yet, and apparently they're they're awesome. So, looking forward to that for sure. That's cool. Um, anyway, yeah, back to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, multisig. Have you used like multisig much at all? And what was your um like your onboarding process like with that like your first sort of touch point yeah i mean i've used it in uh from a business uh, like in a business setting yeah i haven't used it i haven't used it personally and uh and it was fairly yeah fairly straightforward to set it up because i've set up a few i've set up uh yeah and i've used a few and it's like pretty yeah as i said pretty straightforward to setting those up uh, I haven't, yeah, I haven't set up my own and, and there's another like argument to be made is like how complex you're going to make your own setup as to like, then the aspect of inheritance as to uh, if some, if you're going to get hit by a bus, like how easy it is for someone to get access to your stack per se, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's, uh, yeah, that, so that's what's holding me back for setting up a multisig. And uh, I, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, Peter Dunworth. You must have come across Peter Dunworth. And something yeah, he yeah. rightly said is like, you set up your wallet or whatever your whole thing, like your whether it's a, just a regular cold card with the seed phrase or whatever is your setup. And now give it to the whoever's next in line to receive that stack. Uh, tell them, like ask them to get a hold of your stack with you just taking a backseat and see if they can do that. Yeah. 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 And I said like, that's like a good experiment to run, right? Like, it's like, oh, are they able to do it without a single prompt from you? Like you have your notes there and are they able to do it? And maybe, and as you uh, change your setup or upgrade your setup and then get them to do that again and like, yeah, get them to like get into your stack again, that kind of a thing. But Yeah. Another thing that is also is like, it's another risk, right? Like the amount of people that you're going to uh, tell like of how they get access to your stack is like, it's a risk from a personal point of view, but also a risk from an attacks. uh, Like uh, if someone is trying to actually, uh, yeah, if a bad actor is trying to get a hold. But in in saying that, like, I, I think the most the the bad actors would target the 
easy uh, what, what what's the term but the low hanging fruits right it's yeah, like yeah. yeah the ones that are holding uh holding holding their bitcoin on exchanges it's the easiest attack or using the most common commonly used uh commonly used tools so maybe that's a ledger or maybe that's software wallet so that that would be their first sort of point points of attack with a, and with then, a query password yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now I think I think you're right, and it's usually like the the more uh, complexity you have, mm. like, and I'm guilty of this because I always like to jump <laughs> on like the latest thing. And I've yeah. like locked myself out <laughs> like a fair few times of yeah. like, and yeah. the, it's the worst feeling, right? Like you're like, oh no, what have I yeah. done? Um, but it's all part of the learning learning journey. Hundred percent. Just like yeah. if you didn't do it, then there's no one who's gonna do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah. kind of like yeah, jumping on the grenade for other people, I suppose. But like now you're right, and I think like the the bad actors usually go for like the easiest stuff, right? That's what that's yeah. why. Like you look at scams in Australia; it's all old people. Like they, mm. they they just and it's mostly like social engineering. So they just like. Yeah. talk them into installing like any desk or something on their computer and mm. then bang like they've got into their bank or, or whatever it is sort of thing so yeah. i think yeah you're probably right but it, just in terms of multi see like i think it's come a long way and it's actually yes. quite um like i don't know if you've checked out nunchuck i know nunchuck um mm. there has been a bit of pushback on it i think from a few bitcoiners that i've spoken to just in terms of like okay. the open sourceness of some of the architecture but i'm not sure right, um, right, right. But in terms of like ease of use, that's pretty damn good. And it's like it, mm. it introduces like um like a social element to it. So it's like um Merrick and Karen have like a multi-sig and it's like our avatars and it's a chat, right? So you have like a chat and then you create oh, okay. your multi-sig like between us. Yeah, right, right, right. It's good. Oh, and, and, you can actually... and you can exchange the PSPT. So that's like the partially signed transactions yep. on the, to that chat as well. Exactly, exactly. Oh. So you do do it. So it makes it like functional and easy and for your um seed like obviously you can spin up a seed phrase um but you can also use a seed tapper so you can go yes you have a seed tapper i've got a seed tapper we both tap and that's your multi-seed transaction like so for Ah. for like oldies or for like you know people who aren't um tech savvy it's pretty damn easy nice. like they've nice. made it pretty good so i think i think multi is getting better and better and like better like and you better. said for like remit or for um for uh people like who want to give give their money away to um their siblings or like you know whoever yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it's a really good way for them to set up make mm. it easy and go here you go this is what happens when i sort of pass on yeah, um, yeah. The, just so, so when you say seed tap are you referring to the tap signer card tap signer, sorry yep. yeah, 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 yeah 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 that's cool yeah because yeah. that's the only reason why i install nunchuck is like to use the tap mm. signer and the sat and what's the other one the sats card i think yeah yeah, yeah the one like a gift card which you could use as a gift card yeah so yeah, that's exactly. yeah yeah, and yeah, as you said, like it's fairly straightforward. Fairly the straightforward. UX is good. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's familiar sort of UX, so it's mm. like anyone could just go. Oh, yeah, I kind of get it. Like you can yeah. probably like to your point. Could you stand back and just let them do it? Mm. Probably, like for the most part, they've made it pretty easy. See, yes. I reckon they knocked it out of the park with that. What definitely, uh, and I think I've spoken about this on the podcast before, but like, yeah, definitely worth um checking out. And shout out to the nunchuck guys. Good, good work. Nice. Um, yeah. So, so with with the multi sig obviously and um, hardware slash signing devices, you obviously want to be running your own node. Um, mm. It sounds like you already are, and yeah. it sounds like you probably have run a few. What, like, what's your what's your go to um, software and hardware? Okay, so yeah, so uh, my first sort of node. Uh, shout out to Crispy because he he's the one that gave me the Raspberry Pi and uh, SSD. Nice. Uh, yeah, and he had a spe- like he had those spare lying around. I was like, oh, I need to run a node, and he's like, oh, I have these spare lying around. Like, you want them? I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, and so I just set up an Umbrel. I I did try setting up Citadel on on it, but for some reason it wouldn't run. There's, so there's the so you are you familiar with Citadel? Yeah. So there's like Umbrel. I'm still and, rocking it. I still like it. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, so for people that are listening, Citadel is just uh, very similar to Umbrel, but it's open source. But I've been, yeah, 
so using Umbrel, which I've only thing that Raspberry Pi is like a 4 GB RAM. So it sort of lags here and there. You got to switch it on and off and then it's up and running again. Is that uh, a Raspberry Pi 3? I don't know. 3D yeah, I, probably. Yeah, the the yeah. 4 is pretty damn good. Okay. Yeah. 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 But, uh, but fairly recently, I, uh, I had, so my laptop, the, battery sort of died out so i can't use it as a laptop i have to use it as a desktop it has to be always plugged in yeah and uh it's like uh, i've been using this laptop for a fair bit now i got a new laptop and this old laptop is just lying around so it's like might as well set it up uh as a node and uh, i you and i set it up with start nine uh, oh, oh beautiful yeah yeah, awesome. yeah it's real, and it's still syncing because as i said fairly recently yeah. it's still syncing but the ux with start nine looks good the additional functionalities that you have on it is also yeah looking good if you if you check out um if you go to v for v dot um the school of bitcoin.com yeah we've got node lessons like full node lessons and it's start nine so a guy from japan wow jump in and he's i think actually worked on the the code um, okay, for that okay. as well and he was awesome so actually i gotta reach out again because i want to do a follow-up like yeah, the yeah, yeah. lightning channels on there but um yeah definitely worth following along as you as you're setting it up but mm. um that's cool so it sounds like you've kind of used everything so yeah i've, I've got my citadel still rocking nice using uh armbrel actually got armbrel set up um we had a donation uh actually from tiggs he gave us like his oh nice um, Raspberry Pi, so we got that set up at school. So in my classroom, got that running, and I've got um, yeah, Umbral with uh, what have we got installed on there? You know, you can install a bunch of different apps. Like yes, got, yes, yes. Um, actually, Piehole, I've got running through that as well. So it just blocks all the like ads and nasties from the internet, like for the classroom mm. sort of thing. Um, there's so many cool like tools, additional like, tools that you yeah. could get. That's that like Bitcoin adjacent, you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Not Bitcoin, oh, and, ChatGPT. So we're Chat running GPT. a ChatGPT like, oh, okay. client on there so you can actually log into it. And we've got the um, like API key. So basically we can run like our own safe version of ChatGPT like locally right, in the right, classroom, right. which is really, really cool. But yeah, Umbral is awesome. Uh, I don't know if it's the best Bitcoin node just because mm. it has so much other stuff uh, on there. Yeah, yeah. But it's fun like to play it's around fun. And, yeah, and, um, and you get tempted to play with this, all this other yeah, stuff that's yeah, on yeah. there, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, as, uh, and you know, and for people that are listening, I mean, uh, like, if they're not familiar, there's Ketan, who's like a big advocate for Ministry of Nodes. And I was speaking with him, and he's like, oh, if you're going to run a node, like, have a separate device that's only the Bitcoin, that's only running core. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to have, play with these all these additional ha apps, like, have a separate device, so... Yeah, that's his yeah, they, recommendation. They do, great, they do a great job of just packaging up like those old Dells and yeah. going bang, yeah. which makes sense, right? Like a, a Pi mm. is not really built, like it's not strong enough to be like a secure device, but yes, they, they are lower powered though. So, and that's the other thing, right? And mm. I, I know in terms of decentralization, that's a big thing. So going back to like, you know, right. the, the, the hash rate thing. So if we're contributing mm. to that with low powered devices, why not? run like umbral mm. or something on a um on a pi to play around with and then have your your sort of beefier machine as your your main sort of go-to yeah yeah wow and just i mean just back to the note uh so are you running a lightning node yeah i am oh, and, okay and channels as well and i've again oh. stuffed that up a thousand <laughs> times <laughs> yeah is it is it a lot of maintenance work yeah the channels yeah <laughs> it yeah, really okay. is and yeah. and i've just like lost btc and like mm. oh all right i've messed that up let's try something else sort of thing so i think yeah. that's why i'm really keen to get um start nine rocking with that like properly and actually yeah, yeah, figure yeah. it out because i think most people are in the same boat right like if mm. you if it's a part-time thing and you're not managing channels and kind of knowing what you're doing it's just like oh well i'll try this see if it works and then whatevs but um yeah. i think just in terms of like running a full node and connecting your hardware wallet to it or your your wallet so like sparrow or whatever yes. it is yeah doing that's like probably hard enough for enough people for, mm. for most people so like do that and then next levels lightning sort of thing and so lightning sort of thing yeah yeah, yeah I, I was speaking with uh 
John Carvalho, the guy behind uh, Synonym. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and one thing that I was like, oh, like, because it's so hard, uh, as you pointed out, it's so hard to manage channels and everything, right? Like what, what would tend to happen is centralization. Like there's going to be few sort of services like few sort of entities that are going to provide the lightning service where like say you you have a phoenix wallet or you have wallet of satoshi is a big one right like they are yeah. managing all the channels for you and they're doing it not at retail level but they're doing it at wholesale level they're doing it for enterprise as well yes yeah. so there's like other companies similarly that are doing it at enterprise and retail level and it will lead to centralization as yeah as more people are I, I, given that it's hard for individuals like you and me to do that and he's like and as i was like pointing that out to him and he's like and he's like uh, and yeah what he said was it doesn't matter if it's centralization on the second layer we still have to be bothered like if it leads to centralization on base layer yeah yeah okay yeah that kind of makes sense it, well, yeah it was interesting because i when i first heard about lightning i remember like back God, what would it be like 2017 or something like that and reading about it i thought oh isn't it like my first thought was kind of like what you said isn't this going to lead to centralization through mm. people running the channels like essentially being banks yes. um and then andreas antonopoulos had a really good um talk about that saying why it's the complete opposite okay. over time so it means actually more decentralization over over layer two so essentially kind of like what we're trying to do opening channels yeah right, right, right being for everybody so i think once it gets easy enough it'll mean okay like we open a channel everyone just opens channels between each other it just but it has to be get to a point where it's sort of point and click and it's doing it without having yes, to do yes. too much work i think we'll get there it's just development and and sort of building out and there's probably other layer two solutions that are going to come along mm. Mm. like in that time as well so yeah the more the more the merrier i think it's cool yeah yeah yeah. i just like just had a thought maybe they could someone could set up uh the devs would know but like set up some sort of ai thing where it manages the channels for yeah. you right yeah and and, cool. and and yeah 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 and, and steals depends. your money <laughs> and steals your money at some point right uh, did, that, you, did you see that the transaction so it was the yeah. chat did a transaction on btc by itself to another ai ah yeah this yeah, is yeah. this is like a month or so ago oh, like, wow what that's yeah, yeah, yeah. incredible that's gets like yeah game changer uh, right yeah i mean th- th- like lynn so you're familiar with lynn alden right so she yeah. she she in a, re- a recent i can't remember what a newsletter that she was talking about bitcoin and ai mm-hmm. and the because there's so many different ai applications and softwares and and we, we would say give chat GPT a command to do say uh, generate X, Y, and Z and chat GPT is like, Oh, currently it knows that there's this other AI out there that is capable of doing it quicker or more efficiently compared to them. And they like chat GPT as an AI, and now I'm speaking it as a real entity would reach out to this other AI and get them to do it and then give you the results. And charge you a fee, <laughs> yeah. Right. Charge you a fee, and they are, and that's the same. Yeah, they, like they could pay the that the second AI tool who could do that more efficiently, and then yeah, give you the final result. And then this could be going on between like all these different AI softwares, right? Like yeah, all these, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and 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 I mean, uh, coming back to Bitcoin, and and like Bitcoin would be the best sort of currency for that because it's instant settlement yep. and and micro payments that's exactly. what you need yeah. yeah well that that's the thing right so it's like I, I, as soon as i saw that i'm actually talking about andreas again going back to like a long time ago he was talking about emancipation of devices mm. with with btc so like um imagine like a car that owns itself that drives like a driver like a ev that drives around yeah. by itself sort of thing Mm. takes passengers they pay in btc it pays other ai devices to service it and it never stops right so it's like Mm. driving for so it's essentially owns itself after after a while so you can see that like across the board for all these weird things that are going to happen and i Mm. think 
the, the genesis was kind of like a month or so ago whenever that transaction happened like, it's gonna be <laughs> yeah. weird it's gonna, it's gonna be, be so be... weird yeah 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 <laughs> um yeah crazy times um so finally um mm. what's the uh your your actually two last questions so what's your uh onboarding process you kind of alluded to it before with the farmer's market i like that yeah. idea that's really cool but what, what's sort of your go-to like when you're onboarding new people maybe not necessarily at a farmer's market but yeah. just in general yeah just in general as i was like sort of pointing out a bit earlier as well i tend to not be too pushy about yeah. it and and it's like just trying to explain money and like try to get the individual to question like like they probably know like just start to get them to question uh how the world works yeah and like just prompt them in that direction and yeah. then tell them it's sort of yeah say like oh how bitcoin fixes this thing right like yeah and uh yeah and and as i said like if and if they're open to it then make like make a suggestion of how they can acquire some or like if they're interested like send them some uh, send them some Bitcoin over Lightning and uh, yeah, uh, and just ask them to invest in the amount that they are not willing to, like the amount they're not, like they're happy to lose. So, yep. yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, And then finally, where are the places that you go personally to learn about BTC? So obviously podcast, running yeah. a podcast is the best way to learn new stuff. Yes. I've already made a bunch of notes. So thank yeah. you. <laughs> um. But yeah, like where where do you go to read to to listen to stuff? Like what's your what's your go to? Go to is podcast as well. Like uh, it's uh, some of the podcasts that I regularly listen to is the Rabbit Hole Recap, uh, Matt Adel, Citadel Dispatch. But I believe lately he's not put out anything. Yeah, uh, yeah. Then Stefan Lavera on and off. Uh, but recently, given like there's so much happening in the Noster world. I've been listening to Pleb Chain Radio and nice. just keep trying to keep up with what's happening with, uh, yeah, on the Nostra side of things. So, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, you're, you're on Nostra, obviously. Yes. Um, I'd need to get your, your, have you got, have you got an IPO5? Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. what is it? <laughs> it's uh, BDC Honey Badger at nostaplebs.com. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll have to. Are we following each other yet? We probably not. Yes. Oh, we, we are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I've, uh, all right, I'll double check. I've got laser eyes yeah. on there now. So. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Cool. So, so you got like a, a GIF or like a GIF uh, for laser eyes? Nah, that's what you... just, just uh, okay. put laser eyes on my okay, usual yeah, picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thought I'd better differentiate this from, from Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, that's cool, man. All right. So what what uh, so obviously Nasta, what are the other places to go to to follow you? Your podcast, website, like what what are you rocking? Uh, yeah, just uh just Nasta mainly. Uh I probably use Twitter on and off. And uh yeah, podcast is available on any podcasting application that you're familiar with, but le- Try to get people to start using more podcasting too. So Fountain and Breeze, or I nice. think there's Podverse as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And the podcast itself is called Dabbling Path. And uh, on Twitter, on Twitter and Nostra, it's BDC Honey Badger. Yeah. Awesome. I'll set up, um, if I can figure it out, set up some splits on V for V. So the podcasting index and see if we, yeah. can, if we get anything for this. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see if I can split it with you. That'll be cool. Um, ah, cool. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Thank you so much, Merrick. This has been awesome to finally catch up. We've been meaning to do it for <laughs> since we're quite alive, pretty much. Yes. Crazy. yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. But we'll have to catch up in person and do, yeah, come come to the next um, meetup. 100%. We'll, yeah. We'll, uh, yeah. We'll have another chat. That'll be cool. And yeah. um, I'll have to do your podcast next. Yes, yes, yeah, and we yeah, hopefully we schedule that not in six months time, but we'll yes. do it like probably A- in a week. ASAP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, buddy. Have a good day, and we'll talk soon. Thanks, Kiran. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Yes. Bye.